below the circle of a majestic sun, and lower still, beneath the wildness of the prairie, is Travis Erickson, breathing fire and breaking more rock to add to his pile. And I love coming down here because it's, it's being in the womb of Earth Mother. For more than 300 years in southwest Minnesota, all kinds of Indian people have carved and quarried pipestone. Travis is a modern link to that ancient tradition. Some people believe that the pipestone rock is the blood of our ancestors. Native American artists like Travis sculpt the red rock into pipe bowls used in traditional ceremonies. And even though separating the soft pipestone from the harder rock that surrounds it looks like punishment. Here's where the humbleness starts. Erickson doesn't see it that way. As hard as it is to work down here, it's teaching you something about humbleness and, and respect. And you can learn that without having anybody telling you what it's about. This, the Earth Mother will teach you that. Pipes are not the only thing made from pipe stone. And no one knows that better than Travis. He's the artist who's been asked to create a simple pipe stone circle that will be on prominent display at a new museum far from here on the mall in Washington, D.C. It's really a big honor for me to be chosen to do, to do this for the, you know, for the Smithsonian and for the people of, of Mother Earth. The circle, a symbol of balance and harmony in Indian culture, is made from four pieces representing the four winds. The pipestone circle will be set in the floor in the main room of the National Museum of the American Indian now under construction. Literally, I'm creating the heart of this museum. Travis's most significant work will also be his most basic. But for a man who's chosen such a difficult path, so closely tied to his mother earth, perhaps it's only fitting. It's very humble, it's very simple. And that's the way life should be, is simple. David Schechter, WCCO4 News, Pipestone, Minnesota.